Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have been given this arithmetic series 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 10 all the way to x equals to 287. And now we are going to find the value of x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and let's focus on the left hand side of this equation. And here I have copied it down and such kind of sequence is called arithmetic sequence or sometimes we call it arithmetic progression. And we call it an arithmetic sequence because the common difference between any two uh, consecutive terms is always same. So the difference between these two consecutive terms is 3. Likewise the difference is 3 and this is 3 and it is consistent. And here's the arithmetic sequence formula that we will be using a sub n equals to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d where a sub 1 is our very first term, a sub n is the last term, d is the common difference and n is the total number of terms. And in our case, 1 is our very first term and we call it a sub 1 and this x is called a sub n which is our last term and d is our common difference which is 3 because the difference between any two consecutive numbers is 3. So therefore we can write a sub 1 equals to 1, the very first term, common difference d is 3 and a sub n, the last term is x. And here's our arithmetic sequence formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our a sub n is x equal to a sub 1, the very first term is 1, n minus 1 times d is 3. Now let's go ahead and distribute this uh, 3 over here. So we're going to have x equal to 1 plus uh, 3n minus 3. And if we simplify this thing, our x equals to 3n minus uh, 2. Now let me go ahead and call our equation number 1. And now in the next step, we are going to find the value of n. And here's our next step. Let's recall this sum of arithmetic series formula. S of n equals to n divided by 2 times 2 times a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. In our case, s of n is 287, which is the sum of the arithmetic series. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. In our case, s of n is 287. I'm going to write down 287 equals to n divided by 2 times 2 times a sub 1 is 1. I'm going to just replace it by 1 plus n minus 1 times in our case d the common difference is 3. So let's go ahead and simplify this thing 287 equals to n divided by 2 times inside this bracket 2 times 1 is 2 plus if we distribute this thing that is going to give us 3n minus 3 and now let's go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 on both sides so let's go ahead and multiply this thing 2 times 287 is going to give us 574 equals to this 2 and 2 is gone. So we ended up with n times 3n minus 1. And now let's go ahead and uh, take care of the right hand side. And this we are going to distribute this one that is going to give us 3n square minus n and now we have moved everything on the left hand side and now we have got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve by grouping and factoring now let's focus on this constant number 574 and 574 could be broken down into 14 times 41 so therefore it is going to give us a good clue and we can tweak this negative 1n 
could be written as negative 42 n plus 41 n and now we can see that 3 n is in common between first two terms and uh, 41 is in common between last two terms so therefore we can factor out 3n and we ended up with n minus 14 and plus 41 over here and inside parentheses is going to be n minus 14 equal to 0 and now we can see n minus 14 and n minus 14 they are in common so therefore we can factor out n minus 14 and then times 3n plus 41 equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and separate these two factors n minus 14 equal to 0 and on the other side 3n plus 41 equal to 0. And now let's focus on this equation. If we move this uh, 14 on the other side, that is going to give us n equals to positive 14. Now let's focus on this side. This we're going to subtract 41 from both sides. This is gone. So we ended up with the 3n equals to negative 41. Now let's divide both sides by 3. So our n value turns out to be negative 41 divided by 3 and now we can see that n is a negative number and we know that n represents the total number of terms so this cannot be negative so therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value of n and therefore we are going to accept this positive value of n which is 14 and here's our final step let's go ahead and plug it in this n equals to 14 value in this equation 1 so let me write down this x equals to 3n minus 2 and now i am going to replace this n by this 14 value so we can write x equal to 3 times 14 minus 2 so x is going to be 3 times 14 is 42 minus 2 so that means our x value turns out to be 40 and that is our final answer so thus our x value in this arithmetic series turns out to be 40 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye